Rescuing a window washer. Sometimes these emergencies arise and our local firefighters have to be ready to jump, or in this case, repel into action. Um, rope rescues don't come around very often, especially in our area, so the training and persistence of the skills is key. Jason Ramey is the fire chief here in Bargersville. Their community fire department serves not only the town, but an area encompassing 62 square miles. And he tells me this newer training facility off Smoky Row Road and Mullinex Road provides a safe space to practice what they call low-frequency, high-risk emergencies. This grain bin simulator was the cornerstone for this training facility, an idea they had back in 2015. You know, that's the, the foothold here of the training facility. From there, we wanted to be able to do live fire training and rope rescue training without acquiring structures. <laughs> put the fire out, um, then we can pull this drywall down, clean up, and go again. So Just this past weekend, they poured concrete, making a safer surface to practice skills like vehicular extrication, getting you out of your car, cutting through the metal at the scene of a serious crash. And we're able to practice our skill in a safe environment. It's going to benefit not only our personnel, but the public when we go to serve them. So I'm inside the training facility right now. All the straw behind me, they're getting ready to light this on fire, and then the fire crews will bring their hoses in and work to put this out. Hey, Smith, can you charge safety line? It's also a money saver. Normally, departments have to secure old buildings for training, which comes with asbestos checks and a lot of prep work. For this project, the fire department secured a $30,000 grant with the help of the Johnson County Community Foundation. Along with the grain simulator, the red structure is made from shipping containers and turned into a building by Patriot Tactical in Franklin. Emergency personnel from across the county are welcome to train here and train off. Um, we can knock uh, several fires out within an hour or so of training time. So it's state-of-the-art training facilities like this one here at the Bargersville Community Fire Department that allows their firefighters to prepare for any situation they may face out there on the road. Reporting from Johnson County, Lauren Casey, RTV6.